Hello, uh, I'm so excited today to have my friend Chris Bianco here. He sent me a text yesterday to say, hey, I'm coming over. I'm like, okay, I have nothing ready, but let's do it. I know he's got a busy schedule, uh, but uh, Chris, uh, thank you for coming. Oh, no, to, I'm, I'm, I've been wanting to come down and uh, I always say if it's a rumor or a tomato or an oven, you have to consider the source. And I wanted to come down to the source and... Uh, not only see that I know the great work you did, but just the, the new technology you're working on is amazing. So, Some of the new so, stuff is so, fantastic. So, um, coming into, I know that you heard about our company and, you know, we mm -hmm. became friends, you know, a while ago. Uh, but mm -hmm. coming here and see it with your own eyes, the craft and, yeah. and the things that we do, uh, you know, here in Marafurni, the, the heritage, the tradition, the preservation of the Italian making home. And, uh, what are your thoughts? About well, that? I think for me, I always like... Uh, I like, I love history, I love tradition, but I also love innovation. I love to, uh, I'm already thinking about tomorrow, today, and uh, <laughs> I'm still thinking of yesterday as well, you know, so I think, um, uh, I just love the, uh, the connection of, uh, yeah, old, old techniques, new technology for, you know, more durability, uh, better, uh, uh, you know, just consistency for the operator. And you know, just yeah, how we how we cook today is different even than years so, ago. So we we were in the kitchen and we just went there and you know, we got a, a dough and he made a puccia fresh and then we had some culatello from Italy. Oh, it was delicious. Open with a little bit of burrata and you tried the new electric oven. What do yeah, you think? Yeah, the new electric oven that was my my number one thing. As soon as I saw that, you know, uh, you know, for years we had an old deck oven and uh, you know, it's uh, I have a love for. I mean, obviously, I love fire. I love cooking with it, but I, I also love. The kind of uh, the 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 humility and the consistency of of uh, of deck ovens. Now this one is at a high level of technology, and but I, I love uh, it takes me back to when I, you know I started like in New York in the old deck ovens, and now you see where this oven is. It's uh, the so recovery what, what, time. What do you what do you think you can make out of the deck ovens? Anything? Uh, I think you can make anything. I was already like I think in uh, from New York style pizzas to. Uh, any type of uh, focaccia, scacciata, the pucha breads, stirata breads we make, and some, so you know, I, so yeah. you you love electric, but at the same time you also like. Uh, I think you are a purist, a traditionalist, you know, with the wood fired. Yeah, I love but that. I, but you're ready to to move it to something that is more even gas assist. I think you know you can still well, achieve I think, good yeah, quality I think, and and consistency. I think we just have to start thinking about you know, the world we live in and not just uh, cooking in the inner cities and, the, you know, the, the, not just the lack of consistency of wood, um, of great wood and dry wood and people that ability to kind of, to, to the cost that incur with not only the wood itself, but the, but to, you know, to cut wood, uh, you know, this, let that thin so we can control the temperature and, and, uh, um, and, and, and the fact and, that you gotta you gotta be sure that your supplier is you know consistent yeah. quality. Yeah, and, and, and I love it. I, I love it. I love wood. I love fire. But I also love, you know, this in our business. You know, it's it's there's no uh, time for an off day, and there's no time for you know um, the food not to be consistent. So I think um, I'm always very interested in finding you know, like I said, the 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 pizza doesn't care. You know, it wants the temperature. And it wants, you know, the, the factory heat and it wants flame. And a very quick, you know, in a very quick bake, um, uh, you know, um, it, it's, it, it's consistency for me that's uh, the most important. As far as, you know, even heat from top and bottom, finding that balance, finding, you know, dome height, how high, how low, any things that we need. And that, that for me just had a lot of, I mean, the, you know, your regular ovens, uh, obviously the, the versatility is for that as well. But um, and that, but I'm very it. impressed with the, the deck. I'm blown away by the, the deck. Thank you. I appreciate yeah, it. It means a awesome. lot you yeah. know, coming from, from you. So you you are James uh, Beard Award winners. You wrote Everybody the, gets one one day. <laughs> if you hang around enough. So you yeah. wrote a book. You got several restaurants. You know, what's, uh, you know, what's uh, the future for, for Chris you know, now? Um, and is a Marafoni going to be in your next restaurant? Oh, yeah. No, no doubt. No doubt about it. We're going we're gonna to find a few places for those. I'm, I'm definitely already thinking of that. I got one place for that, the, the electric for sure. And uh, close to, I'm going to put it right, I want to put one right next to my wood oven so we can just really kind of play with them and see, uh, you know, years ago people say, oh, that's the wood, it's the secret. And 
I would say it's, you know, you put crap in, crap back out, and no matter the cooking medium. So right. I, I, I love, like, finding that uh, kind of uh, uh, way forward to, you know, for, the, for the, dot, the, the customer's experience, they want consistency and they want quality. So it's, it's we want to find finished product that is yeah, very important. Yeah. And I love the process, but I love all the all the process, you know, in every level. And I love the I love, you know, I love the the ability for one's mind to create the you know uh, to use technology to to uh, replicate or even exceed on an old world technique. I would say, if, uh, you know, we love uh, old things, which I do, but uh, I don't want to drive around uh, traffic in a Model A either. You know, I want to you know I, I like to go for a ride, but. I want a car that will maybe take you me know, that you little safe from a Ferrari, then you want a Maratoni. I don't know about it. Yeah. <laughs> so That's you, right. you, you were the, you know, the, uh, the guru of the, the uh, moments of artisanal you know, uh, pizza uh, in the United States. And uh, what, 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 what do you think the future of pizza is uh, you know, uh, here in our own country? Well, pizza was around long before me. It'll be about long after. I think that my uh, take on it is... Um, I like, to, I like to cook food people like to eat, first of all, no matter what it is. And I think pizza is incredibly universal, you know, kind of, it's everyone's food. It's everyone's first food. They eat away from home. You put it in a box after school, you know, it's, it's a fair play, six slices, three people, everybody gets two slices, unless somebody steals one. So I think the future of it is, um, uh, um, we all know we all like pizza. The world likes pizza. So I think it's about getting better pizza, not, not just by proclaiming that it's better. I think looking at our ingredients, looking at cooking mediums, developing young talent to, to, look, you know, to see it as a noble profession, uh, which for me it is. Um, and uh, so I think that the future is as bright as we, as we help you know, maintain that. Wow. You know? so we to, get, when we had a, a beautiful day together, we, we enjoyed uh, you know, our time we cooked. Uh, that was great, why, man. Why, why, great day. We, I introduced you to uh, a project uh, very special to us and to the Mara family, uh, which is the, the, the Pizza University and Culinary Arts. Huh? Before you say something that was extremely important, I think, for the well-being of this industry is to create a new generation of pizza makers. And I, I wanted to know if you'd be up to you know, join us to teach a, oh, a yeah. class what, 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 what teach some class. It was a, yeah, I, I wasn't good in school, good in school but I'm, maybe I can... I can share some of my uh, dysfunction. Oh, I'm and, sure your class is going to uh, be sold out. It'd be, you know, well, it'd be fun. It'd be fun. To, I mean, I enjoy, uh, you know, I, I, I kind of enjoy empowering people to, to convince them that they know more than they think they do. You know, I find that all the time. That, you know, say if you can make a pancake, you can make a pizza or an omelet, you can make a pizza. You know, the, the, it's just knowing your medium and knowing what you want from it. I think empowering people to, like, Trust that what they like is the best. The best anything is the anything you like best, right? I mean, whatever you like. Well, we like the best, and we like to finish this conversation <laughs> All right, with the best. All right, we'll, we'll, we'll get it done. Thank you okay. for your time. Thank, Thank you, brother. You okay. Much. Thank you. Uh, you like, hermano?